Curiosity plus passion equals intelligence. What about you folks? I want to collaborate, I want to work with people that are curious and passionate over what they're doing over somebody who's just qualified any day of the week. And that's what we require in these next couple of days for you to be really curious, to get stuck in, to really open those minds. My belief is this, if you ever respond to something you're learning and your response is either, uh, ah, ooh, or <laughs> right, there's a very good chance you're going to remember it. Socrates, who was a Greek philosopher, he lived about 3,000 years ago, he said life and learning should be a festival of the mind. A festival of the mind. <sighs> The lifelong quest to learn, to seek new information out, is that we don't know everything. And we can learn new stuff about ourselves, the people around us, the environments we're working every single day. And one is very low, 10 is very high. If you've arrived here today with a one energy, a one energy would look something like this. It'd be kind of a... Oh. <laughs> Anybody wondering if that floor's hard? Yes! <laughs> this is why things like this are important. You get together, you can enrich, you can renew, refresh your friendships, make new ones. Think of the skill base in this room. Folks, you've got the answer to everything you need to be even better at who you are and what you do in this room. The question is, have you got the confidence? Can you be bothered to find out? That's it. Oscar Wilde said, some people create happiness wherever they go. Some, whenever they go. Anybody got one of those in your family? <laughs>I don't want to shut your brains down, I need to open your brains up, so I won't approach you in a threatening manner. I won't be going, wait, what do you think? I'll approach you in a very non-threatening manner, like this. <laughs> Is that more threatening? It's like, massive camp ginger man coming my way! <laughs> Is that saying, tummy tickle, little trickle? Anybody ever had that? Yes. Or well, as my, my mum used to say, sometimes I laugh so hard, tears run down my legs. <laughs> Throughout this session, I'm going to explain to you why I think laughter and humour is so, so integral, so important in terms of well-being, in terms of your health, in terms of your neurology, both personally and professionally. There's a lovely saying that says, anxiety is simply excitement without breath. So it's like, <gasps> yes. How many of you have had loads of ideas in your head and then somebody's gone, what do you think? And you just go, I don't even know my name. <laughs> even now at 40, I know I look younger, I moisturise. <laughs> even at 40, if I hear the word test, I mean to go test. It's going to be hard. Might fail, could die, right? It's that serious, isn't it? And here's something to think about. If the quiz is quizzical, what's a test? Don't answer. <laughs>